Hello Sagittarians, welcome to Souls Intersect. I have your November of 2016 Intuitive Tarot reading. This month I'm using the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck. Happy birthday to those of you Sagittarians celebrating your birthday coming up in November. If you're interested in getting a private reading, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com or you can always book directly through my website and all the links that you need are below. I also want to remind you that I do past life readings as well. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. I have three major arcana in the center row here and the very center is the Hierophant and I will come back to that because in this spread the central card is always very important. To the right of it is the Empress, and to the left of it is the Fairy Stallion. In this deck, that's the Chariot. So what I'm picking up there is, is like this own brand of your creativity that's going to be really rushing forward and building momentum coming up in November. But it's interesting to have the Hierophant in the center of that, that kind of creativity and that movement, because I get the sense that there's also something about mastery of managing both the type of momentum that comes from creativity and the type of momentum that, that comes from when it's like all things go. It's like when, when things are ready to move forward, that momentum is there. It's the end of inertia and it can be overwhelming sometimes in a similar way that creativity can be. So for, for this reading, I feel like one message of the Hierophant is balancing that and managing it in a way that tames it and really helps you to use it to manifest what you need to. I'm picking up some work and some romance messages here. The, another really prominent card is the Ace of Swords above the Hierophant. And I do sense for this reading a lot of clarity on something. So I'm feeling like, and I think this is true for a lot of people, October has been kind of chaotic in a way, energetically. And I feel like there's been a lack of clarity, like a lot of static is the way I would describe it, kind of going around. And I feel that this Ace of Swords is going to bring mental clarity where it's been lacking. And I also feel like it's, it's a new beginning for, with that clarity, a new beginning for a brand new thought process. And it feels very related to, to work stuff because to the left of it is the Eight of Pentacles and to the right of it is the Three of Pentacles. On one hand, I really feel like the beginning of, of building something up and on the other hand, continuing something that you've been working on. So there could be a couple of things going on because I am getting this sense of like juggling things. So if it is, if it's like two projects that you're working on, I kind of feel like with the eight, eight of pentacles above the, the fairy stallion, this chariot energy card, it feels like this is something that you've been toiling away at for a while and some forward movement will be taking place finally is kind of what the energy feels like to me and then on the other hand if it is a second project it feels more like the beginning this three of pentacles building something new and it's above the empress and i feel like that creative spark there's a lot of potential both of those cards can convey a sense of strong potential and so it feels like for something that's new, a newer type of project, that the foundation is going to be laid, that some building blocks are being put down and, and growth will be happening there. So it really feels like with work things or creative projects that there's a lot of positive movement. If it's not two separate things, I, I feel like there's somehow two aspects of it where one feels like it's more established, something that you're familiar with, 
and another side of it is something new. So it could be that what you do for work could be fairly recent. It could have changed at some point recently. And if that's the case, I feel like there's two aspects of it. Like one where you feel part of what you're doing for your work is something you're pretty comfortable with and have been pretty skilled at for a long time. And the other part of it though feels newer and I'm sensing a little bit of this, this feeling of not being as sure, not being as confident. But I really feel like there's energy from the universe being sent to you to reassure you and to let you know that you should be confident about it. And I feel like you're only that, it's kind of like that three of pentacles is going to grow into that eight of pentacles for even that aspect of it or an aspect of it that doesn't feel quite as confident for you. Now, what's interesting too is that the queen of pentacles on the bottom left, then we have the knight of cups in the center and the two of wands. I, I am sensing this soul, a soul connection, like a spiritual connection with someone. It could be friendship. It could be romantic. It could be someone younger. It doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign. But it feels like a very gentle sweetness and a little bit of, I feel like this person is a little bit timid. So I feel like the Knight of Cups is another person. It could be male or female. It could be younger, but I, I also kind of, what I'm picking up more from this card for this reading is that the dynamic is a little bit, you, you're coming up as this queen of pentacles and it's just like, look at this, this voluptuous, fiery redhead. And I feel like that's kind of how this person sees you. Almost a little bit of, you're out of their league in a way. Um, and I, you're not, I mean, you're very compatible because I see this two of wands and it does feel like a beautiful collaborative spiritual energy. But, and it may be that they're, because they're a little bit younger, a little bit less confident, a little bit less skilled, that they don't feel quite, I want to say good enough for you. That may be a little bit extreme, but just a, a little bit unconfident or timid about it. And as a result, I feel like they're maybe not coming forward. And it may be you that what needs to come forward because you can feel the energy, I think, of this Queen of Pentacles. And it feels like a, very much like an offering energy, especially with that, the apple. And I just feel like the Pentacles suit, it's, it's kind of like this earthly gift giving, like giving uh, the fruits of the earth kind of thing. So I do feel like this person is coming forward. So one message is definitely for you to do that, to come forward and approach this person. I don't feel that you have anything to lose. I do feel there's a beautiful, sweet connection with this two of wands. I really like it in this, in this deck because it's children. It's this fairy children energy. The light green feels very lucky and positive and it's, it's definitely the beginning, just kind of like the initial stages, but it's fostered by this sweet spiritual connection. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's something that will last, but I feel like this is definitely someone that you can connect with, at least for this month. I'm picking up for some of you that this may just be kind of a a temporary thing, but in a really sweet way. I don't I don't want to I don't want that to come across as you know, oh, it's, you know, just another one that's going to fizzle or not last. It feels like there may be someone else important in your life that you're kind of hoping for, wanting to connect with, and that, but they're not available or something like that right now, and this person could really bring in some healing and maybe some fun for you for this month, and maybe longer, but for some of you, it feels like it may be a temporary thing. That's not necessarily the case for all of you. The other thing that I want to mention with the pentacles and then you, I feel, coming up as this queen of pentacles is that it could be that there's, that's interesting, I, I was picking up on Capricorn, on the, the time period of Capricorn, and yeah, so I feel like this is kind of extending into December, and I'm picking up a lot of holiday energy too. So this seems, it feels like that's around the work situation and 
the, the romantic situation. So I do get the sense that something starting now, starting maybe early November, both in regard to work and romance, could be something that, that lasts throughout the, the holiday season. It's feeling like some, some good creativity, some good companionship, and some, some good growth and potential happening there for that time period. I want to come back to the Hierophant as it is central to the reading. And I want to see if I pick up any other messages from that. What I'm feeling there is that I, I do feel like lighter times are ahead. Again, it kind of feels like through this holiday season. And, but there's a little bit of a serious tone to this card. And I feel that his message for you is to, to not forget the lessons that to be learned during this time period. Because I sense that there's going to be a lot of social activity, you having fun, you creating, even I'm seeing some of you doing kind of crafty things that you sell for the holiday season. Maybe it will pick up. So fun, lighthearted stuff. Oops, I apologize for the sound. Lots of growth around that. And it, it feels like you may even, though I do feel that you'll have more clarity, I feel like you're going to also kind of be caught up in the, in the, I don't, I don't want to call it chaos because I really do feel like you, you will have clarity and a lot of drive and balance within you, but, but it's the holiday season. So there is a little bit of a hectic pace. And especially for those of you creating, I feel that you may be caught up in that a little bit. And so the message that he's putting forth is that even with just things that are just fun, things that are more about physical enjoyment, and even in relaxation, that there's always lessons to be learned. And there's just this reminder there for you to pay attention to that. And that could also help if it feels like, for example, if this is something that, if this is a connection that maybe doesn't last, it feels like have fun during the, the time that you are able to connect, but also remember that there's always lessons and something to be learned. And I feel like that could be a source of comfort for any possible disappointments. I'm not seeing anything negative. I'm really not. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of positive energy, but that message is there just to remind you to pay attention to what growth is happening on a higher level and also that underlying message that that could be something that helps you in the case that there are any disappointments or if things don't go exactly how you want them to. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments or email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. Thank you.